All righty, I think this is gonna give us a good little payoff up here in one spectacular view. Oh yeah. All right. Man, hook the trail dog, escape the snow and mud of home. Come out where at least a little less snow and mud, even though there is still some out here. We're out just a little bit into the San Rafael Desert, across the mountains from Sevier Valley where I live. This is the Willow Springs area. We're kind of up on top of Mesa above Willow Springs. And it's an area I've driven through to get to other places, but never really stopped and checked it out. There's some old roads and trails and stuff that meander around up here, so we're just gonna go explore around, see what we can find, see what's here. Yep, we found some cows. Boy, this road's in nice good shape. A little bit of snow here and there, but should be all right even later in the day as it gets warmer. Frozen sections thaw out, it shouldn't be bad, I don't think. Oh, it's cold on the legs. Don't know that snow up. It's a slick rock. Too bad it's all buried under crusty snow. Should have brought my fat bike, but I was going to know it was going to be like this. I did put on the plus tire, so that helps. <sighs> you can't see it, but down off this next set of cliffs, down in this canyon below, that's where I-70 runs. You can see off over this way. You can see the Sufco coal depot over here where they bring coal down from the Sufco mine to take up to the power plants up in Carbon County. See the town of Emory right up there. And then just over the top of this mesa, you can see the plume of steam coming up from the Huntington power plant. Or no, that's the Hunter power plant. Huntington's farther north. And off this way, you can see the main part of the swell. You can see out the end of Cedar Mountain up in the north part, up towards Price. See out towards the wedge, good water rim. This little road, you can see it down there. It does keep going out of ways, but I don't think I'm gonna go down there today. It's too much snow, I'll wait till it's dry.
That's where to get through that crust. Just hit it fast enough. <laughs> Put it down. Hit it and hit it hard. <laughs> Takes a lot of effort to stay pedaling fast and hard through that stuff. This is pretty here. So off over this way, we've got Thousand Lake Mountain in the distance. This is Hill Guard Mountain. I've been up there. On my bike back in the summer, right before I really started videoing a lot, going back up there this next year in the summer again to video a ride that looped around up there. It was one of the greatest rides I've ever done. The most spectacular country I've ever seen. Over here, this is the east side of Salina Creek, basically. Salina Creek's on the other side. That's where the freeway comes through. Up here, this is White Mountain up on Skyline Drive. I've also been up on top of that. Going back there again, that was another really cool ride to get out on there. Way up high, beautiful forest, stunning views. But again, back before I was really videoing. And then just all the southern end of the book cliffs here. Suffco Mines up in this canyon up here. Back up in around the corner there. Just beautiful country, I love it here blessed to live in this part of the world. Whew. That is slippery sometimes. Yeah, it's no... Gloves running in the snow, I can't tell. All right, back to kind of the main road. I'm gonna follow it out. I think it goes out to a overlook looking to the south, the east. Go check it out. What a dog. <laughs> oh, he just loves this. That's a good portion of the fun for me, is seeing how much fun he has. How excited he gets about coming out. Alrighty, I think this is gonna give us a good little payoff up here in one spectacular view. Oh yeah. Yeah, boys. That's that for view? <laughs> Filthy bike. <laughs> All righty, Henry Mountains, Cedar Mountain, Little Cedar Mountain. Way out there, you got Moroni Slopes, out towards Seeger's Hole, Slaughter Slopes. Over here, the Marrow Go Round, the Muddy River Canyon. Over here's the Dike. 
around the corner off that way where you can't see will be the San Rafael knob. Down here in the flat, you can see a road. Uh, you probably can't see it on the camera. There's a little road out there that's the East Willow Springs Road that accesses out into the Mustn't Touch It and Lower Last Chance area and stuff. So much pretty country out here. And all these beautiful snow covered cliffs rising up to the mountains up there. Up the hill through the snow, following the dog, trying to stay in my track from earlier makes it slightly easier. Hey, Hook, come here, Hook, come here. All these lava boulders just sitting on all this all the sandstone. Now you can see Santa Rafael Knob over here, high point in the swell, and the dike and the gorge and the merry-go-round. Stopped up there. <laughs> 
Such a good dog. <laughs> and he retakes the lead. There's mud on the camera. <laughs> Slalom through the cow poop. <laughs> Hello, cows. I didn't say run, I just said hello. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite the ride I was expecting out here. Seems how there's more snow and a little wetter than I anticipated it would be but hey we still had a good time and that's what matters and we tired out the dog <laughs> that's what matters i get the bucks out of this crazy thing somehow hey buddy come here come here <laughs> gotta sell you down somehow otherwise you start driving us crazy at home because you're so freaking energetic always gotta be doing something any ride is better than no ride. That is for sure. Thanks everybody for watching. A little bit different ride out here, nothing too exciting. But hey, had a good time. We got out here, we saw some new countries, some beautiful views. A lot better than sitting around at home not doing anything.